I believe it's time for some serious judging. Look at my awesome ugly throne. Fit for an awesome ugly inquisitor. <laughs> and I have given myself a lovely formal outfit. Let's get started then. Impressive, is it not? Fit for a leader, meant to show influence and the burden of it. It is where the Inquisition will sit in judgment, where you will sit in judgment. Will we be taking heads right here in the hall? <laughs> Goodness, no! Oh no! If such an option is available, it heads will be done will roll. elsewhere. Trust me. And it may not be necessary. If Ocarifias was your problem, ha! Sovereignty you have my crazy eyes yet. Yeah. who validate it. You are both empowered and bound. Justice has many tools. If their application is clever, execution may even seem merciful by comparison. Not interested in justice, Josephine. Let's get going. Is there going. anyone I should judge? Take the throne when you're ready. We will bring him before you. Oh, I have someone to judge, do I? Knight Captain Denham, Inquisitor. Oh, you it's our judgment guy. for serving the Lord's seeker at fair and full redoubt. That's right. Oh, Cullen's doing the, the presentation, I knew some is of he? The knights who died there. I asked to oversee his sentencing. Oh, he's quite young. Looking. The Envy Demon perhaps fooled the Knight Captain, but following his superior's orders nearly destroyed the Templars. I hope the Knight Captain is lucid enough to understand what he's done. I only did as I was told. Knowingly or not, you condemned your brothers and sisters to death. You, you shall have done the same, the same you fate. You have abandoned the order. I served faithfully. It went red after what the Lord Seeker told me to do. Oh, what's the option to kill him? <laughs> I need some decorations for Skyhold. I need some mounted heads on these walls. Okay. Ah, okay, what's the most gruesome one then? Yeah, okay, jail him then. Your proximity to the Lord Seeker will No, serve why is purpose. everyone approving? <laughs> Hate me. Ask him what he knows Don't of Don't like me. Then imprison him until we've dealt with Corypheus. What if that time never comes? You can't hide me, it's pointless. The rats can have you then. As leader of the Inquisition, you... There's something I must tell you. You're a drug Drug addict, I know. All right. Lyrium grants Templars our abilities, but it controls us as well. Those cut off suffer. Some go mad, others die. We have secured a reliable source of Lyrium for the Templars here. But I no longer take it. You stopped? When I joined the Inquisition. It's been months now. Months? You didn't think to tell me this sooner? Has it mattered? Yes. I don't know, has it? After what happened in Kirkwall, I couldn't. I will not be bound to the Order or that life any longer. Whatever the suffering, I accept it. But I would not put the Inquisition at risk. I've asked Cassandra to... watch me. If my ability to lead is compromised, I will be relieved from duty. Don't need you. You can go inject it. Oh, you want. You seem to have this well in hand. 
I thought you had a right to know. The Inquisition's army must always take priority. Should anything happen, I will defer to Cassandra's judgment. Don't you grunt at me. Oh, look, it's this guy again. I have read that you, um, if you find him three times, you get like a reward, which is a spoon, which I'd like to get because I imagine it looks funny. But like on my previous playthrough, I've only found it once, and I've been checking all the spawn points that I knew of. And I could never find him, so I assume he spawned in the vault, and since I didn't have the perks, I couldn't get to him. So I'm hoping to find him three times in this playthrough, because I'd like the spoon. Inquisitor, you have done much, but have you the stomach for the Quizquisition? Yes. The what? It begins now, and there is a timer. Fearing that Nugs carry the blight, Kirkwall declared the noxious vermin in 520 exalted. The extermination is known as... Uh... <laughs> the Cune. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Battle of Squealing Plains. That makes sense. I don't know. The Battle of Squealing Plains is not spoken of in polite company. Correct. Oh. Well played. <laughs> Go lucky. We will continue when I have time and the wind calls me. Yeah, okay. Just don't spawn in the vault. All right? Wait, this is weird. What? I was expecting a village or something. The people that leave me stuff don't trek out to places like this. Give me a city and I'll give you a tour, but surprise, surprise, I don't know stupid woods or ruins. What's that? Don't hurt me. Harmond made me do it. Oh, look at my awesome dagger. <laughs> What's your name and why are you here? He made me come. Said I had to lead him to her because I said things. It was just bar talk. This was supposed to be a simple drop. What's going on? You're her. You're the one he's waiting for. It's her. She's here. Red Jenny. Oh. You dead. Oh, look, we're dinged. Right, who wants to get stabbed? Let's <laughs> go, <Score> you. <laughs> Involved. This is a tragic misunderstanding. Let's all sheathe our swords, you walk out, and we'll conduct this like business. I don't believe this piss bag. He started it. Yeah, you piss bag. There. That wasn't so hard, was it? We identified the confusion, and we worked past it. I'm Lord Pell Harmon. I do hope, Inquisitor, that you continue to respond to reason. After all, your choice of company is hardly virtuous. Freaking user you are. Another noble prick who punches down. We're the same, you and I. Well, that is overstating it. You are nothing like me. But we both need people. Well, say your piece. Of course. No more rash mistakes. 
Honestly, previous to this very moment, I thought you'd also been tricked by these red jennies. Despite your foreign nature, as inquisitor, My foreign you are nature. Elves are not I far off humans. On behalf of us both. A douche. Ass biscuit. <sighs> Quiet. Inquisitor, Herald, I don't want to be your enemy. I'm barely invested in being hers. If you are willing to recognize an opportunity, we could be exceptional partners. Um... I'm assuming if I side with them, Sarah's gonna hate me. Which is a good thing. And if I don't, Sarah's gonna kill him. Which is a good thing. <laughs> um... Yeah, okay. I need every advantage. I think we can come to an arrangement. What? We can come to an arrangement. But the people he killed! Who cares? Regrettable, but a lesson for us both to investigate our targets. Let them live on in our profits. Yes. You're both shitbags. Uh oh My people will message yours, Inquisitor. It's good to know our future is in rational hands. What? What do you want? Because I'm still angry. A angry face. Good. You made a deal with that pisshead. After everything, you made a deal. What is wrong with you? Don't judge my decision. You're the one who messed up. I'm sorry, what are you on about? Because that excuse for a person was a fully vetted asshole. You sure as piss not putting me next to him. I'm more concerned that your friends didn't know what they were getting into. You risked their lives for this scheme. Don't turn this around. Yes, they got hurt for talking. But what were they supposed to do? They were already being hurt. And who made it necessary to speak up? That noble asshole, that's who. And that was just the one we flushed out. You'd rather do nothing than try to make this better. How are you making things better? What have you done for anyone? I make sure these assholes pay. While filling your pockets. Well, maybe, but... <gasps> but... Got you. Know what? You go suck friggin' eggs. I take back. Okay. No, I, I will go the suck but the that's egg. Hard, right? Even for if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you can stay, Sarah. I intend on being mean to you more. Hopefully. I need all the help I can get, but consider this a warning. Well, understood. Hot two and all that. If you need me, I'll be waiting for some barking ass to give me orders. So hard to get. Stupid. Everyone. Wait, so since I jailed that guy, is he gonna be in this prison here? Let me see, because I've never seen anyone in the dungeon before. I don't think in any of my previous playthroughs. No? That's a crap. Oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> oh it is here. Oops. Let's pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> Oh, he's here! That's awesome. So like if I imprison them, they're gonna be showing up here. Let's go. Have the rats gotten you yet? No? They will soon. No one to watch over your worship. We either have many friends, or you've made short work of enemies. I mean, there is a prisoner right there, but it's okay. You can just pretend it doesn't exist. That's fine. Doesn't bother me. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Is this just gonna keep on happening? Forever? <laughs> a box there. <laughs> Stop falling. I'm not even doing anything, like I'm not walking. Oh, come on. make one hook. Yeah, okay. Well, I made my own hook, so since I didn't get a choice to use my lady hook, so prepare to be amazed. I spent a lot of effort on it. Inquisitor, meet hawk. <laughs> Though I don't use that title. <laughs> hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight after all. <laughs> nice eyebrows. <laughs> this view reminds me of my home in Kirkwall. I had a balcony that overlooked the whole city. The balcony that fell off and first. hit a bunch but of branches while, on your way I down. The people out there depending on me. <laughs> You heard about Haven. I have. That's why we're here now. And why I have battlements instead of balconies. May they serve you well. Thank Merrick you. said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens <laughs> were holding him. And he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads. Messed with their minds. Turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared... He they looks like Varg's dwarven brother on... Well, not brother, okay. Varg's dwarven cousin on steroids and a de developmental distortion. <laughs> You're giving me maybes. I need proof. Then let's get you some. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Stroud. The last time we spoke, he was worried How about How will I ever choose who to rights. sacrifice? <laughs> Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. If Corypheus has corrupted the Wardens, it may be too late to save them. I understand. <laughs> I'll do whatever's necessary to stop him. I love him. Corypheus is my responsibility. I want him to be my new tank. I thought I'd killed him before. This time. Oh, wait, this is going to be a sure mage. I want him to be my new boyfriend. You knew where Hawk was all along. You're damned right I did. You conniving little shit. You kidnapped me! You interrogated me! What did you expect? I expected you to tell the truth! I told you what was at stake! So I just hand him over on your say-so? It's okay, Hawk. This zealot isn't crazy. I promise. <laughs> Look at her. She's finally lost it.
We needed someone to lead this Inquisition. Hawk was our only hope. He was the champion of Kirkwall. The Mages respected him. And you kept him from us. The Inquisition has a leader. Much Hawk sexier would have leader been as the well. If anyone could have saved Most Holy... You did that out of spite? I was protecting my friend. Varric is a liar, Inquisitor. A snake. Even after the Conclave, when we needed Hawk most, Varric kept him secret. He's with us now. We're on the same side. We all know whose side you're on, Varric. It will never be the Inquisition's. You don't need to tell me that. Oh, like I have no reasons to help the Inquisition finish this. For the moment. Fine. For the moment, I'd like to do what I can. I must not think of what could have been. We have so much at stake. Go, Varric. Just go. Just what we needed. What happened here? Where's the merchant we were supposed to be meeting? Seems Vicinius angered Calpurnia by sending her mistreated slaves. She was paying a fortune for literate slaves. What? A horde of these venatories not enough? Something's up. That sounds like recruiting to me. It's a lot of blood. You've been having a good time here. That must have been Vicinius. Unfortunately for him. Let's look around. Hole again, but hold on. Lady Calpurnia, I had no intention. 
I warned you of consequences should the slaves you bring me suffer in your care. Venatori, show him my displeasure. Oh, is that a voice? No! Wait! Wait! That's a dwarven memory crystal. The Shaper used them to store memories. Don't ask me how. Dagna might know what to make of it. I didn't expect it to sound like that. For some reason I thought her voice would be higher. Your trip to the merchant's home yielded results. Before she became leader of the Venatori, Calpurnia was a slave from Minrathus. Even slaves with magic are treated unkindly in Tevinter. If Corypheus freed her, no wonder she follows him. What else does her past reveal? It haunts her. Calpurnia has freed every slave she's purchased. Well, that's this nice. Continues tracked his shipments. My agents will investigate. This may lead us to Calpurnia's lair. In the meantime, speak to Dagna. The crystal you found on Vicinius fascinates her. This is an amazing find, Inquisitor. The Shaperid and Orzammar had something like it. Mm, greetings to you too, Dagna. <laughs> they preserve voices, or a likeness. Memories, you know? You don't know. It doesn't matter. The Venatori cracked it, but here... These documents you found, Inquisitor, I've made interesting... Have the fear of demons. But the power will draw them unless you have wards against possession. Once you have become the vessel, demons will be beneath your concern. Prepare as I have directed. This is so much more interesting than Samson's storyline. couldn't take anymore. It wasn't meant for this. That looked like Corypheus and Calpurnia. It was a memory stored in the crystal. No, that was vital information. Did you see Calpurnia's expression? Their alliance may be less than harmonious. Corypheus said Calpurnia was going to be a vessel. A vessel for what? They spoke of power and demons. But Calpurnia is already a magister. Corypheus must have some other plan. All that for a fragment of conversation. Well, I'm no shaper, but I might be able to get it to remember new sounds. Really? If we hid it among Calpurnia's belongings, imagine what we could learn. I can split it and keep half here. We could hear her speaking right then. It's not how they're supposed to work, and it'll probably break. As I said, I'm no shaper. Inquisitor, Calpurnia's Venatore have been digging up elven ruins. Tracking them might lead us to her. If this crystal were placed in a lair, I cannot overstate the value of what we might learn. Why not attack Calpurnia head on? You attract attention, Inquisitor. Her spies would see you coming. A single agent may slip in and out without notice. This crystal may yield great rewards. Dagna, do whatever it takes to get that crystal ready. Right. If there's a rift growing between Corypheus and Calpurnia, we must exploit it. I'll have the crystal ready soon. I think. Let me find the Quicksilver.